Welcome to the Researchia YouTube channel. My name is Jorge and in this video I will introduce you to the Julia package Modia, an alternative to the Modelica language. Modia is a package for the Julia language. It is well documented with a lot of examples and explanations. You can also access to their files in GitHub. If you need to install the Julia language in your computer, there is plenty of options for any OS. One of the things that I find very useful is that they have a portable version for Windows, so you can take it with you anywhere in a USB stick. This is the Julia language interface. I will start by adding the Modia packets. I already have it in my computer, but these are the commands you need to write to install it in yours. Now, we need a package for plotting the results. In their documentation, they recommend using the package Makey, but I will use the package Plots because I find it very easy to use. Again, I already have it in my computer, but this is how you add it. Now, we need to tell Julia that we will use the plots and modia packets. As you can see, the Julia language is sensible to the way you write the commands. Ok, so I'm ready to start with my first model. In the modia documentation, there is an example with a pendulum, but I will start with a simpler example, since I am not very comfortable using the Julia language or Modia just yet. I first need to give a name to the model, then I need to tell the system that I'm writing a model, I will declare a first parameter k, I need to end the line with a comma, now I'll, I will declare a variable v, it seems I need to use the keyword var, and at least for the moment we need to initialize variables. I had problems when I tried to run models without initializing the variables, so keep this in mind. Now we need to tell the system we are going to declare our equations. Ok, the problem here is that I forgot a comma here, so now I can continue writing my model. I still don't know how to use the time variable like in Modelica. So, since I want to write the equation that v equals my parameter k times time, I will check if derivatives work in the same way as in Modelica, using the keyword there to derive respect time. Now I need to close the brackets and the parentheses. Ok, so my first model has been accepted. We need to instantiate the model, so it's translated to the language. Now I will simulate the model, but I want to store the results in a variable. We will use the simulate command, and the arguments will be our model, the solver we are about to use, the stop time, then uh, we define the unit as seconds and the log of what's happening. So I simulate now. And we get our results. 
I will declare a variable vs that will store all the values of our variable v throughout time. I will declare a variable x that will be used in our x axis for our plot and it will represent all the values in time. And I will just plot the values of x versus vs. Here is the result of our simulation and as you can see it is very simple but it looks very good. Okay, so I will try a couple of more advanced examples now. The first one will be an object falling due to gravity. I will first define the acceleration, which is the value of gravity. That will be a parameter. And then the variables for the velocity and distance. Now our system of equations, the derivative of the velocity equals our acceleration and the derivative of the distance equals our velocity. Now I close the brackets and the parentheses and our model is accepted. I will instantiate the model now. Okay, so far so good. Again, store the simulation results in a variable. And run the simulation. As you can see, once the package has been used in Julia for the first time, then it becomes way faster. Okay, so I will store now the velocities in a variable. The distances in another variable. And I still have the variable for the x-axis that represents time, but I will define it just in case again, so you can see how to do it. We define the initial value, the step, and the final value of our vector. Now we plot the velocities. We have a nice looking plot here again. My mistake, I have the wrong plot. I need to plot x versus vel. Okay, here we are. Again, we have a very nice looking plot. Now I run the plot command this way because then the line gets added to the previous plot. Now we have a nice looking plot with the velocities and distances. In Modelica it's very useful to use the built-in variable time to get the time values. So I will try to do the same with Modia to see if it's possible because it's a very useful feature. I will write a third model here. I will start with some parameter again another variable v another variable s the system of equations will look like this now as you can see I'm not using the parameter just to show that uh, we can define parameters but there's no need to use them we won't get any errors and the derivative of v equals time so when we run the simulation after integrating v we won't get a straight line we will get something that looks parabolic 
now I close the brackets and the parentheses. I will instantiate the model again. And now run the simulation. Again, I will store the results in variables. I will use two variables, VS and SS. As you can see, we get a good looking plot again with the values of V. This time it looks like a parabolic function and I will plot both results together now. This is the end of our very simple introduction to the Julia language and Modia. Thank you so much for watching and see you in future videos.